present of pain medicine, and I'm sure you are still heavily involved in the future, both minimally invasive spine, regenerative medicine. What excites you about either or both of them? Where, where do you see the future going? And what can the young generation is going to kind of take over the reins? What kind of things, the pitfalls and what to look out for to make it successful and not fall by the wayside? So one of the things I think the future, uh, you know, younger generation should focus, uh, should be focusing on is all minimally invasive procedures. Yeah. If you if you look at the uh, history of, uh, you know, the, the coronary bypass, right? Yeah. In, in the that. 80s and 90s, you know, people even earlier, you know, four vessel bypass, yeah. or that's a very big deal. We did the it was, for that. it was right. open surgeries yeah. at one and point. And then this percutaneous angioplasty came up. So the same problem, same system. System, yeah, and patient goes home with a bandaid, not a yeah. sternotomy wound, and, <laughs> yes. a, and a better outcome, right? These minimally invasive procedures are can actually provide the better uh, outcome, and there is a comparison has been done where a spacer, you know, vertiflex spacer.